Hello and welcome to how to create and set up Square Payments Gateway for our OpenCard tutorial. In this tutorial we will show you how to set up Square for your OpenCard 2.3 store. But you can repeat the process pretty much for any supported OpenCard version as well. Basically there are three stages of setting up Square for uh, OpenCard. Number one is creating a Square application. Number two is installing Square to your OpenCard store and connecting it to your Square application. And number three is setting a cron job. So without further ado, let's get started. So right now we are at the squareup.com website and the first step that we will need to do is create a Square application. So we're going to the sign up and as you can see we have entered our Square credentials right now. So clicking on sign in and right now we are waiting for the dashboard to load. Okay so as you can see right now we're located at the Square dashboard. Uh, so what we need to do is go to apps and then click on my apps at the top right corner. Once we're here, we need to go down and locate go to developer portal and click on new application from the menu. Next, we need to name our application. For the sake of an example, we will choose a name which is open card 2.x demo. So we need to make sure we don't input anything with square in it since it wouldn't be okay for our application. Once we're here, we have a few menus at the top, which are credential, OAuth, webhooks and point of sale API. So for now, we are taking a look at the OAuth and what we need to do is go to open card and then extensions. Once again, extensions. And from the drop down, we will go all the way down to payment. Okay, now scrolling down to square. So for this tutorial, we will assume that you have already installed square. And if you haven't done so, you can follow our installation instructions below. Clicking on install. Okay, now next step is to go to edit. As we can see, we have opened the dashboard of the module right now. One small thing to remember is that we need to make sure we have a valid SSL certificate. So now we need to copy the first step is to copy the square OAuth redirect URL and we copy it and we're going to go and paste it into developer portal under the redirect URL. Okay, so paste. Great. Now we click on save and we're getting the green notification confirmation. Next stop is we go to credentials and we will be copying those from Square to OpenCard. First stop is to get the application ID. So we are copying that and we paste it under Square application ID. Okay. Great. So now that we copied that, we will also get the secret. And the way to get it is click on OAuth. And then we need to click on the button that says show secret. Make sure not to share this with anyone. Uh, so we click on copy. And then go back to square at open card. Paste. Okay, sounds great. Now what we need to do is click on connect and what's going to happen is that we'll be prompted to enter to our Square account. Okay. And we already have a set up Square account. So entering a username and password, all works fine. And as we can see, we're getting the green confirmation. So, okay, now we scroll a little bit down to Chrome settings. And here, as we can see, we have two methods. 
So it's method number one and method number two. We will set that later. So for now, we're just clicking on setup confirmation. Check. Next is the basic settings tab. Okay, so we have here different mappings between the statuses and also uh, the transaction types. As we can see now, we will go ahead and map each of the transaction status between square and open cart order statuses. So in other words, what status the open cart order will get according to the square transaction. Um, okay, one thing to notice is as we're setting the statuses, of course, is that we need to make sure all of the statuses are set. Okay, and last but not least, let's set do let's set that to refund it. Okay, next stop extension status. Make sure it's set to enabled if we want to enable the module and disable to disable the module. And here we have a few advanced settings. Um, we will not be covering those in uh, this video. Uh, so we click the save button here under step number four. Uh, and we get the green confirmation message, which means that everything is good to go. What we're going to do now is go ahead once again to uh, square and uh, we will be setting the uh, cron tabs. For this, we have logged to our uh, cPanel and as we already told you, um, we will be we will be using method number one. If your hosting doesn't support Cron, uh, you can use a third-party service such as Easy Cron, and uh, there are so many of them. Just type in Cron service. Okay, um, so here we would recommend you to set your Cron once or maximum twice per day, because otherwise you'll be getting uh, a few more queries from the server and. Uh, this wouldn't be needed, so once or twice per day is just fine. Okay, uh, we will be scrolling down now, and what we're going to do is copy the method one Chrome task. Again, this is explicitly if your server supports Chrome, so we'll copy paste that, copy, and then go back to the Chrome tab under the C panel, okay, and just paste the command here. Right. So we need to click add cron job, scroll down. Let's see how things worked out. Voila, cPanel successfully added the cron job. So all looks fine, all looks fine here. We're good to go. And most importantly, we can see the command. Uh, it looks like it passed, so looking good. Make sure once again to uh, uh, Check if you have confirmed that this is an automated crone uh, using one of the methods above. So this needs to be set as ticked. Okay, so it looks like everything's working just great. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please get back to us in the comment section below. If also this video has helped you, make sure to spread the love and press the like button. Thank you.